Hello, and welcome to my lair. Okay, I'm really sorry, that was dumb, I won't do that again. No promises. So today we're gonna be working on what I consider a diet staple because it works on a bunch of different eating plans. It's healthy, it's a great source of natural protein, and you can take it anywhere. What are you talking about? A hard-boiled egg. Okay, I know, it sounds like a really simple thing for me to make a video about, but making the perfect hard-boiled egg is actually kind of hard. No... No pun intended? Is that a pun? Basically what I'm trying to say is that even if you can get the egg cooked properly, getting the shell off is a real hassle always. Until you know this trick. So let me introduce you to my secret weapon and then I'll give you a basic tutorial about how to use it to make the perfect hard boiled egg every time. So we have my mega box of pasture raised Vital Farms eggs because I eat tons of eggs, I promise I'm normal. And then we have my pot and it's top. You want the top, trust me, you need the top. The steam is what hard boils the egg. Don't forget the top. And that secret ingredient, baking soda. Promise this isn't an advertisement. Baking soda is actually the secret ingredient. So you're hard boiling the eggs, boiling, you need water. Yeah, so I'm gonna be making three eggs and I like to put them in the pot first, gently. Don't crack them, they will spew out everywhere if you boil them when they're cracked. Pour the water on top and you want just enough water to cover the tops of the eggs, which is why I can't really give you an exact measurement because it depends on how many eggs you're making and how big your pot is, etc. Um, that was about two cups and eggs are still peeking out a little bit so I'm gonna go get a little bit more water really fast. So now we have my fully covered eggs. I'm not gonna tilt this pot anymore because it's shaking my hand and it's gonna spill. But you're going to put it on the stove and secret ingredient time. You want to sprinkle some baking soda in the water. Just I don't really have an exact measurement. You don't need too much but just put some in there. Are you able to see that? We're gonna put a little bit more just so you can see the sprinkle effect. Yay! So you're gonna do that, cover your pot, turn on the stove, I have an electric stove, I put it on medium high between six and seven, and then you just let it sit and wait until it starts to boil, which is when I'll give you the next step, so hold on there for a few minutes. Pretty much as soon as it hits boiling, you want to turn the heat off. Uh, let me see if I can get you a better view there. Lighting is fun. Anyway. Just trust me, we are heavily simmering, and there we go, we just hit a boil. So, go to go ahead and shut the heat off. Obviously, it's not gonna just stop boiling right away, but um, it'll calm down after a minute, but pretty much as soon as you turn the heat off, you want to set your timer. For 15 minutes, and just let it go. Leave the lid on and just let this sit for another 15 minutes and the steam that's caught in there from the boiling is what's going to do all the magic for you. Yay! Timer's off! Alright, so next we're going to take this to the sink and dump it out very carefully, which I will show you how to do. Alright, so you have to remember that this is full of steam right now, which can burn you, so keep your face away from it unless you want, like, a free facial that can also hurt you, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I like to use the top to hold the eggs in place. Can you see this? Yes. And just let the water out slowly, and the top will catch the eggs so that they don't fall out and shatter everywhere because that kind of defeats the purpose of this whole video. So, we've got our eggs sitting in here and you don't want to touch the pot because it was just holding boiling water. So what you're going to do is fill it with cold water and I like to just go ahead and cover the eggs and then repeat the pouring process probably around three more times. Um, this cools down the entire pot and the eggs and keeps you from getting burned and it actually helps the meat inside of the eggs to shrivel up a little bit and detach from the shell even more. Alright, 
have one more. And then on the fourth filling of the pot, I just throw some more cold water in there and then just let them sit. And they're gonna be ready for me to crack open and peel. So once we have our eggs chilling over here, they've cooled off, I like to choose an end and just go ahead and give it a nice little hit on the side of the pot there. You'll see the crack pretty readily is formed. Um, and then we're gonna bring it over to my little towel over here that I have nicely set up. And you just start peeling from that crack. Sometimes you get lucky and the end that you choose has a little air bubble in it, which really helps to pop off the whole shell. But um, the fact that we rinsed it with cold water several times and the baking soda, that definitely helps. Um, another thing I forgot to mention earlier is actually that older shells are easier to peel just from the get-go, even without adding baking soda. So um, if you have older eggs, clearly I go through them pretty fast since I buy them by the 18 count. <laughs> but um, you know, if you can if you can choose between some that have been sitting in your in your fridge for uh, a week versus some that you just bought yesterday, use the ones that have been in there for a week. See, there's the little air bubble I was talking about. If I'd chosen this end, um, it probably would have been easier to start peeling from the beginning. But see how nicely that shell is just coming right off? I mean, it's not coming off in huge pieces, but it's not tearing off a ton of flesh with the shells, which is a pretty notorious thing for hard-boiled eggs to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish peeling these eggs and I'll show you the finished product, all right? There you have it, the final product. Three really pretty hard-boiled eggs that stayed intact for the most part and were pretty easy to peel. I'm not really sure why the baking soda does this trick, but it works for me. Some people claim that it doesn't work for them, but maybe that has to do with climate. I live in Central Texas, so take from that what you will. But yeah, basically that's all it takes. And then you've got protein for lunch tomorrow, which is what this is gonna be for me. So <laughs> I hope this tutorial helped you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment or subscribe for future instructional videos. Thanks guys.